New information this afternoon revealing people who live in hot climates like us here in Arizona age faster biologically than those living in cooler climates. Yeah, and the heat apparently harder on your looks than even smoking or drinking. That's rough. 12 News journalist Rachel Cole joining us live now with the data. Rachel, seriously? Yeah, you guys will be getting my Botox bill for this one. So apparently the valley's heat and vice is one in the same, according to this new research. And we know that our valley temperatures can be downright dangerous and impact our health. But now, yes, the new research suggesting that the heat is impacting our looks similar to if we were drinking and smoking. Take a look. If you have sun and smoking, we're just in trouble. Dermatologist John Schaff sharing the compound effects. We all know that more sun exposure, UV radiation, we have risk for skin cancer, photo aging, stuff like that. Photo aging, premature aging caused by exposure to UV rays, and Phoenix sees a lot of them. Last year, temps topped 90 degrees for a record-breaking 188 days, with more than 140 of those surpassing 100 degrees. The new science advances study suggesting prolonged heat exposure of that magnitude changes how your genes behave aging us fast. It creates just more of a stress on the body, more of an oxidative stress, which then can lead to what we've already talked about, changes in the skin. Something seen in some of the 56 people who live in all parts of the country, finding that those who live in hot climates like Phoenix looked about 14 months older than people living in cooler places like Seattle. What's worse, research links premature aging with other health issues. Create more problems from a uh, you know, cardiovascular standpoint, more heat, stress to the heart, to our blood vessels, increased blood pressure, risk of stroke. All of those things can be compounded by that. Best thing Dr. Schaff recommends to combat skin issues, especially anti-aging. Everyone can do a better job of wearing more sunscreen. Big and water, sun protective clothing, I think is another big one. And then avoiding long-term sun exposure. You know, if you know you're gonna be outside all day, doing those things, but also finding shade and stuff like that. And you guys, this might be just a small heat wave here in March, but we certainly know what's coming, don't we? And in fact, the National Climate Assessment is predicting our extreme heat in the country could go up 20 to 30 days over the next 25 years. So best to do what the dermatologist recommended and avoid sun exposure if you can, but certainly use those protections in place to uh, try to sidestep any skin or health issues in the future. We're live in downtown Phoenix. Rachel Cole, 12 News, back to you.